Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will talk about the rotating facade. Actually, uh, rotating panels in facade. As you can see here is on the pictures, uh, the pictures is totally small, but I'll try to make it big one like this. Uh, these panels it's rotating around himself so we will do the same panels but uh, with more interesting things so we will create an engraved without any special programs we not will use uh, like you can see here is the uh, Rhino we not will use Rhino we will create it exactly in Revit so if you're interested about that let's start Let's open up Revit and now we should create the new family we will use the adaptive family so let's go to the family new one and we need uh, a metric generic adaptive so this one let's open up here we are what the next next you need just place two dots like one two let's select these dots let's make it adaptive one and as you can see one and two so what it mean one it means where you will place the your first click and the second one Okay, so just remember about it. You can place it anywhere where you want. For example here to understand what's going on here Now we need to create the reference uh, line with 3d snapping. Why we should use 3d snapping? 3d snapping help us to snap uh, the um, Start point with the one and end point with the two. That's it why are we using the reference line? Why are we not using the model one? Because when we will create geometry on this line, it not will gone. It will stay here. So that's why it's reference line. So now we need to create like two more dots, two more points. Let's select this point, one point and second point. So we have the two points here. Let's select this point and let's uh, create now our geometry. But before we will create our geometry, I will select this point and I will go to the rotation angle. Let's click on that. Let's create the new rotation angle and we will call it ro rotating bottom. And don't forget this should be B instance. Okay, okay. Now let's select this one and we will call it the same thing. Rotating top. And also it should be instance. Okay, 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 so we did it. Uh, now what we're gonna do, select both of them, go to the uh, show the reference planes always, and uncheck show normal map. Now we can see all our working planes on this dot. Okay, now we can now we can work. Uh, now before we, you will start to draw set working plane. Now this one it will be our working plane. Uh, if you not understand where, what is working plane, I will show you. So as you can see now working plane is exactly our dot. Okay, because we selected it. Now we will use the model line. Let's model and now we will use the rectangular one. Don't forget you should uncheck the 3D snapping and just draw your line. As you can see it's here. Now we should create some parameters for this uh, profile. Let's use dimension. Select this line that line and that one because if you will uh, select exactly this uh, reference line you will able to make it equal this line this line and this line let's make it equal as you can see it's pretty easy now we need overall size and here's overall size let's call this size uh, we should create the new parameter for the size we will call it w and we will make it instance for this one we will make it uh, thickness so t let's make it instance okay we did it now we will do the same thing with here uh, now we should set our working plane and as you can see when I was set this working plane what my working plane was change position so that's why we did all of this thing now we will call now we will create the rectangular uh, profile now we will use dimension line dimension line green line dimension oh sorry dimension green dimension like this equal let's make it overall size and let's do the same thing for that side let's make it equal and overall for that one now you will uh, select overall size and we'll choose for example for this one w for this one it will be t okay now we get the same sizes of profile let's go back to the create and here you will find the family types you will see all the settings here and we will say this one will be, um, let me think, 
1200 mm oh it's thickness thickness will be 100 150 millimeters this one it will be 900 uh, millimeters so we get something like that okay before i will do something i want to save it let's save it let's save as and uh, i will call it um, let's call it um, panel it's not finished we after that we will create one new, one more family uh, okay so now let's select our profile and second profile and let's create geometry we did geometry as you can see so what did this geometry can does right now before i will do something i will select this point and i'll say this is normalized curve will be exactly on the zero okay so where is the my second dot i cannot see my second dot i will use the far frame mode where is the my second dot i cannot see my second dot let's go back let's go back uh, because i did some some wrong thing uh, let's select this dot and this dot it should be be reference uh, flipped uh, da, da, da. let's create the parameter for that one this will be call it i will call it position position one and i will leave it type one and for this one i will call it position two because we should make different position for these points position two let's say okay let's say okay uh before we'll do so before we'll create geometry again uh, i will go back to the uh, properties and here i'll say here it's one and here is the zero and you will see the position is exactly on the our starting point now now before we will create again our um, geometry let's select our profile and let's make it reference plane and the same thing we will do with this profile let's make it reference line i'm sorry let's select this reference line and this one reference line and create the form done now if you will go to the create and properties we will make it 45 degree let's apply it and as you can see 45 degree let's make it here the 25 degree i say 25 let's apply it and it's 25 degree now let's make it back to the zero let's select ok and it's exactly straight one ok done let's uh, save this and now we will create the new family new family and new family uh, yeah we won't want to create the new family new family and this is pattern based pattern based pattern based well let's find the pattern based uh, it's sometimes hard to find where is the fa family pattern based uh -huh, it's here let's open up i will save this pattern based family and i will call it uh, rotating rotate family rotating panel so let's leave it and let's uh, load our panel inside the rotating panel i will select this middle point and this middle point and done here is our family as you can see now it's different position i mean uh the, it's wrong with thickness and uh, width and we will change it uh, so as you can see t it's here w it's here to change it better go back to the family and change the name for example here it will be uh i will edit it uh, i will call it right now t this one it's t and this one it's w I say W. I'd say OK, OK. Let's load the back again and let's override it. And now, as you can see, everything alright. We just changed uh, where is our thickness, where is our thickness. It's OK. Now we can see if we will select it 900 millimeter and uh, 150 millimeter. OK, but uh, actually, it's not good uh, when I want to make it uh, exactly to the size my panel how we can do that just create dimension create the the new parameter and call it uh we panel and it will be instance and reporting one so this parameter will just report what is that and now we will select this panel we have the dsw we'll select it and we will call it um, the w instance okay let's go back to the create under the properties and we will call this one panel will be here it's see automatically will change so for example my panel will be 900 900 millimeter 
and my panel automatically will change the dimension so pretty easy 3000 millimeter exactly I want okay so what the next next I will select my panel and I want now uh, use the rotating button so we will call this uh, all parameters the same uh, let's say rotating bot and it will be instance because I want to use it uh, on my project in my inside my project uh, and this one will be rotating top rotating top okay done with that let's say okay let's say okay uh, thickness uh, if you want you can create this is uh, this parameter also the parametrical but I will leave as it is because it's not so main right now okay so we done with that let's save it and let's create the new project I will create the new project I actually I want for example conceptual mess why not you can create a project you can create you can uh, use it there but I will use the conceptual mass it's also not so bad uh, let's create some plane mm, now I will create the form here is the form uh, let's use this side I will use the surface and I want to say this is will be not fixed number I want to fix the distance and fix the distance too I will use for example for that one not 1000 millimeter here I will use 3000 millimeter this is height as you can see and for this one I want to use 900 millimeters as we did so this is our panels and let's let's load up our panel inside to the our testing program testing family so testing mess let's load inside uh, let's select this warframe and we will using the rotating panel rotating panel just hold on so our rotating panel is here nothing changed but if you will see if you uh, select one of this panel you can say I want to oh where's my rotating top where's my rotating top oh my god I think I did it not instance so this is was my yes it's not instance as you can see without default it means it's not instance let's make it instance and let's load it back again Let's load it back again, override it, and let's select one of that. And as you can see, we get two dimensions here. Oh, awesome. So this is what I want. So what you can do the next? Next, you can use Dynamo, for example, or you can manually change all panels. For example, use the tab key, select it. As you can see on the right side, it's not able to change. So you need again use the tab key for here, select it again, tab key, and as you can see, now it's able to change let's say this is 45 degree bottom and it's changing you can uh, use uh, even not uh, exactly 45 degree you can say this is your make say like 135 degree so and it will change the position maybe you want to use minus 45 degree and as you can see it's different position right now so you can use the random if you want to know how to create random uh, things in uh, Revit just let me know below the comments and I will show you on these panels how you can use Dynamo uh, to make it all the facade randomly for today it's finished thank you guys and see you next time